We're here at Kimmy's Creekside Bistro with the one and only Hank Scheffler. Hank, what do you think of this place? How do you like this restaurant so far? Uh, it's cool. Cool? Yes. What'd you do before the before you came to the restaurant? I went on a hike with my dad. That would be who? You. Me. What did you order for dinner? Baby back ribs. Baby back ribs? Mm -hmm. And you're the rib king. Yep. Are you gonna be restaurant critic for the night? Uh, yep. <laughs> Okay. We'll check in with you later and see how those ribs are, okay? Well, we're here at Solitude Mountain Resort at Kimmy's Mountainside Bistro, and we're about to talk with Kimmy Eklund, one of the uh, owners and uh, managers here. So, Kimmy, yeah. nice to see you again. It's, yeah, you've so been. I uh, love seeing you always. <laughs> tell us a little bit about your restaurant. It's named after you, Kimmy, so <laughs> I'm guessing that uh, you sort of had a lot to do with the design and the. The, the food and, and uh, the whole concept. Well, uh, Stefan and I have been up here at Solitude for the last two years uh, taking care of all the food and beverage and then this year they asked me to take over this restaurant on my own so isn't that exciting? And so what we did, we wanted to make it a little bit different than our absolute restaurant even though we are European influenced and everything. Um, Let's back, back up a second. Absolute was the restaurant you had in Salt Lake right, right, that's for the, many years. Yeah, for many years uh, back in Salt Lake City next to the Capitol. And uh, so anyway, when we got up here, we thought, you know what, we want to make, bring in all of the wonderful nature that's up here. We've got a European village, but we have the mountains. We have uh, a lot of uh, unique um, berries and things like that that are found up here in the mountains here. And then also some nice uh, um, Utah corn and other things that are uh, indigenous to Utah. So we thought we'd try to incorporate that into our menu this summer. And it's been going really well. We've got a really cool corn soup. It's with peaches and cream corn oh. and it's really tasty it's got a coconut milk in it and so we're trying to incorporate local flavors uh, really light and fresh instead of the heavy european style it's more a lighter fresher european inspired uh, cuisine i guess with a mountain okay. flair <laughs> and who's your who's your chef uh, matt anderson and he's been with me for eight and a half years if you can wow. believe it and um, i just love him to death he's the best <laughs> guy ever and uh, he is very creative, and together we work really well as a team to try to um, create new dishes. And I think we're going to go to Spain in a couple of weeks and uh, take a food tour and get ready for the fall menu. Let's do, we're going to check in with Hank and see how those ribs are. Perfect. Perfect ribs? It's got a perfect view of the mountain where I'm sitting. Perfect view of the mountain. Really? Yep. Let me see how those ribs are looking. Ooh, you kind of demolished them. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best cutter. I'm not the best cutter. Who makes the best ribs? Kimmy? Yeah. Or you know who? Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I never tried yours yet, so. Yeah, probably. You yeah. never tried my ribs yet? No. Nope. Eh, wrong. You've had my ribs, you loved them. Yeah. But I've been supplanted by Kimmy's ribs. Not. So I had them a long time ago, so it comes with your taste. Okay. Good night, but I got it, but I'm gonna eat yours tomorrow night. Good enough for me. Guess what? Tasty the moose has shown up for dinner. Apparently he's been walking through the village here a couple of times. Pretty cool. I gotta say, I think my meal was more appetizing than this one. But he might be chasing us.